G'day, thought we could have a quick look around my 2016 VDJ79. I might just do a bit of a walk around. The bar works all from TJM at Bob at East Coast 4 wheel drive. So the bull bar, the brush bars, the side steps, powder coated in the grey finish. We're running a 12,000 pound TJM winch, low mount winch with plasma, a couple of old school XGT 240 light force. So obviously with running team bull at the comp car, you know, I wouldn't be able to keep that thing together without the knowledge and support of the sponsors. East Coast 4 wheel drive, Car Pro, Miranda, Coogee Auto, AAF, who's Adam. Thanks mate, you do a lot of the stuff. Home Fire's the fan man, road runner off road. It's one thing that they, you know, keep the comp truck together and, and getting me to places, but as far as the, you know, the everyday car, looking good and, and, and being able to do the social wheeling, um, I, I want to thank those people as well for all the stuff that they've done. So we're running as a, a negative 50 rear rim, Nick from Car Pro at Miranda, source these neg 50s for the rear and zeros on the front to keep the tyre inside the, inside the flare. Running the 315 KM3 BF Goodrich Mud Terrains. Um, it's a nice package on a, on a truck with about three inch lift. It's not such an eyesore, plus it, uh, the, the gearing is, is still quite good with, with the V8. So up front here we've got a TJM, around the 60 mil lift I got out of these, coil and an RS9000 Rancho shock. That's the hose there that I empty my catch can from. Plus we've got superior front arms. A TJM steering damper under there with a, uh, a custom steel radiator guard. So we got a Safari Tough Heavy Duty clutch in there as well. The factory one lasted me three years before it started to show signs of slipping. By the way, this clutch feels amazing. So in the rear we're running a 400 kilo TJM spring. Thanks again to Bob from East Coast. We've got the superior um, bottom plates there under the spring, high clearance plates, an RS9000 shock, some poly airbags uh, for when we're carrying, they're on zero at the moment. These springs, they, they flex well considering they're what well, they are, such a big pack. So we're running the factory steel tray, so I had a steel tray. Um, it's a good size for me to work out of and to camp out of. We've got the removable rear hoop, which I've just had uh, powder coated to match the, the rails. Got a couple of work lights on top. Um, a fridge point there where we run the, the fridge, either from the, from the main battery, or then I've got one down here for the second battery. Uh, toolbox, which is generally full of either work tools or camping gear, that part of it. Uh, we've, uh, Peter from Coogee Autos taught me a thing or two about auto electrics. So this is where we, this is where the second battery is. Our inverter and compressor, which we've got plumbed in to suit uh, the hose being fitted on the outside, just purely because when we're loaded and camping, the airbag um, need to be either deflated or inflated. So it's, it's, it's an easy, it's an easy job without untying anything that's on the back. So running the genuine three and a half ton tow bar, uh, so we tow the caravan and uh, the bullet truck on that. We've got a redback three inch exhaust system all the way to the turbo. It's a water container there, supplied by Bob as well at East Coast. Obviously being the GXL, it's factory twin locked. Now under the bonnet, 
We've got the chip tuning uh, dominator, dominator chip with a catch can. We've also got his blank plate and high spec fuel, fuel uh, limiter, which you obviously can't see. We've got a three and a half inch AirTech snorkel from Bob at East Coast, uh, married into a custom 200 series Land Cruiser airbox. We've got the J-Max brake upgrade booster and all these braided lines. Okay, so lastly we've got the interior. A little, not much done in here. Um, we've got the wet seat seat covers uh, given to us by Bob at East Coast Forward Drive through the seat cover place he uses. A Department of Interior's centre console which is great just for resting your arm when you're driving. We've put a, um, a second cover over the main shifter stops the noise coming through. I had this on the 60 when I had the ferry overdrive. I've put an extension shaft on the low range stick just purely because I just the leverage on it getting back to low range it's made it a lot easier. We've got a UHF tucked in there somewhere. I've put a head unit out of a 200 series in there with a reverse camera. We've got uh, the Red Arc trailer brake system. Of course a pyrometer for when we're towing, keep an eye on the exhaust temperatures. Uh, we've got the sun visor protectors as well. The E-Drive throttle controller, a must in my opinion. Oh and of course air conditioning which doesn't come standard anymore. <laughs> oh dear. The kids have each got a DVD headrest. So on those long journeys we get to listen to whatever they're watching, which is joy. Um, the boys down there at Maroubra Bay basically rebuilt this whole side from the both doors at least, from, uh, the, from the track we were doing up in Coffs Harbour. Uh, TJM there, East Coast 4 Drive, Chipping Norton have given us some new bar work. So we're all nice and straight now again. This time I powder coated the tread plate. So future mods will be the Mark's handbrake, the transmission handbrake. I believe it's the bee's knees. Handbrakes on these aren't the best. And I've got a Fox steering damper coming. Unfortunately, I couldn't have it for this walk around, but um, it's, it's apparently the best steering damper that you can get for these things.